how do you justify this argument that the money saved from not paying those workers who are striking should be used in part to give an extra payment to those troops who are being called in to cover them? Yeah, so the letter I wrote to the Times was based on a very simple premise, which is that the other government departments save money by not paying strikers on strike days. All I'm suggesting is that for the men and women of the armed forces, about I think it's about... Um, uh, 1,150 of them who are going are currently going to be deployed on these military assistance tasks, that some of that money which is saved by those governments who are asking for their services is put into the pockets of the men and women of our armed forces who are having their lives disrupted. Because, you know, let's face it, when not deployed on operations, members of our armed forces should be doing one of two things, either training or being with their families. So there is an opportunity cost, whether it's mistraining or missed family time. And I don't think it's inappropriate for them to get a little, a little uh, a bit of extra money in order to um, make up for that fact. Because otherwise, those government departments who are calling on them as a cheaper, cheaper alternative um, won't necessarily suffer the pain penalty of deploying the military and and then the lender of last resort becomes the lender of first resort and that's not a very healthy place to be. And do you have any concerns that this could cause resentment towards the troops? Uh, no, I don't. Um, I, I, I think that people can... <laughs> one of the ironies of whenever the military stands in for uh, in, uh, other personnel in cases of industrial action is that they're usually being paid less than the people who are going on strike before they've got the pay rise for which they're going on strike. And I'm sure that's the case in um, you know, the, this, this one. And so uh, any resentment would be misplaced in my view. And generally, how do personnel feel about being pulled in to do this kind of work? You know, we all have been in Afghanistan, in Iraq, uh, in Sierra Leone, where, um, where the state is not providing for its own people, We've had to turn our hands to building schools and building roads and running elections and all sorts of things. So um, it's novel, for sure. Um, but I also think that it's a, a, a bit of an embuggerance, particularly at Christmas and particularly another Christmas. And so that's why I'm campaigning for them to get a little bit of extra cash. And I'm suggesting £20 per person per day. It doesn't seem like you know, an outrageous ask, particularly as that money is already being saved. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.